things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for March 16th. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's start with the SPY. Yeah, do you guys think the SPY is going to hit 400 this week? That would be a nice target, right? There's nothing up ahead. There's totally going to be a lot of sellers there if it gets there. Uh, but that's my target, yep, for this week. We'll see if we can get there. The sky is clear, and we are above all the dark pool prints right now. So today we're going to be bullish above 397. We just went above there. And bear below 395. I did put the last target just shy of it. Yeah, you should always get out right before a major level. And that is a big one. All right, let's go to the Russell. IWM, we're going to be bullish above 234.20 and bear below 232.50 for the Russell and the Qs. Qs are uh, just touching down on the 50 simple moving average, or I should say up to it. If you can break above, my next target would be the 30 simple. So bullish above 321 and bear below 319 for a retracement back down to the 4 EMA. Let's head on over to the future. The future. All right, E minis bullish above 3962.50. Bear below 3950. We've got the Nasdaq futures bullish above 13175. Bear below 13,000. Oil, massive prints on oil. So we are watching this so carefully right now. But today for those futures, bullish above 6,508. We are currently below the four and the eight EMA. So uh, it's kind of, it might be a tough trade today. We're definitely uh, in between a couple of moving averages here. All right, so if, if it needs to really break above here or really break below the 20 simple to gain some big movement. So that could be a tough trade. Let's head on over to the gold futures. Yep, gold futures, I see a really nice pocket right here. If we can break above that 1737.50 level. So I did 1738.00. And bear below 1724, below that 8 EMA. Let's head on over to Bitcoin futures, which, all right, hit that big level, 60,000, and bam, got knocked down. This trades level to level, and you can see this beautiful trend line, right? So are we going to go to the bottom around 5,000? We'll see. Today, though, bullish above 56,500. Bear below 53,500. Let's head on over to the individual stocks. AMC is on fire. Yep. However, 15 big level. Look where it went, you guys. I just taught you this in boot camp. Last eighth is the most expensive eighth in the entire world. Went to 1488, just shy an eighth of 15. So we'll see if it can push itself back up again. But bullish above was 14.52 when we were uh, over here when I was mapping it out. However, we did move down. So let me just see if there's another possible entry if it does move up. And yeah, 14. Yep, if it moves above 14, there's a nice trade to 14.28 and then 14.50 would be our target. All right, so... Uh, or if it moves down lower, you know, if it keeps going, then up through 13. That would be a key level. So it's all about where it's at, where those pivots are. And I pretty much taught you guys that in boot camp. Let's go to the uh, next one. Neo. And oh, yeah, bearish below 14, which it went below and is hitting um, retracements. Right. In fact, wait, before I move, right, look how it retraced right to person's pivot and Camarel support, Camarilla support. Look at the volume that came in there. That's why these were, okay, my targets there. All right, retracement to pivot and Camarilla support. 
and I stop because that's a major support line, right? And we'll bounce. If we go below that, 1324 is your next short. All right, let's go to Neo. Let's just put that in. All right, Neo. We are going to be, I gave up pretty big levels. For Neo, I didn't like where it is on the daily chart. It's stuck. Yeah, the daily chart is everything. You know, you want nice pockets, open space before you get in a day trade uh, for a high probability. Yeah, you can scalp here and there in between, but I, I would rather you guys have a nice clear skies ahead trade. So bullish above 35.50, bear below 43.80. So instead of trying to scalp in between these guys i i just love the trade below the eight that might not happen today that might be tomorrow's or you know if it breaks above there so uh, that's neo for you let's go to apple apple let's see it's not wanting to come up. Oh, there we go all right apple apple's hitting its head right now on the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart, bullish above 125.50, coming up ahead. Yeah, I wanted to go above that moving average. And bear below 124.25, if it does start to come down. Next one is GameStop, definitely a wild one. I love the trade that's it's happening right now, down to the 15 EMA. Coast is clear, you see that? See how nice and open that is? Yeah, that's a good short trade. Uh, bullish above 220. That was the only level I like going long. All right, let's go to the next one. Next one's going to be PLTR. Bullish above 2720, bear below 2640. Tilray. Going to be bullish above 3150. And bearish below 3080 for Tilray. Yeah, I love this one. Nice open space on both sides for the retracement or if it wants to be a gap and go higher. And, you know, watch those as well. Watch that 15 EMA after the open and see if it can stay above it or below it. That tells us a lot. American Airlines uh, pushing, trying to push here. Bullish above 2520. We just went above our bull level. Bear below 24.50. CCIV. Bullish above 30.75. Normally I wouldn't pick that level, but we already went there and pulled back. So, um, yeah, not bad. And we were kind of above it. Let me just see if, if the 50 level is okay as well. Uh, no. The reason I didn't really like the 50 level is we had a Camarilla right there. So I chose to, to go above that. All right, knew there was a good reason for that. Uh, bear below 29.50, we have AFA. AFRIA, bullish above 23.20, and bear below 21.50. AMD, the coast is clear on this one. Really nice, bullish above 84, bear below 81.80. Exxon Mobil, turning bearish momentum right now. Seasonality shows a pullback around this time of year, but then a massive rally going into April. So just keep that in mind. We had massive prints on XLE. ExxonMobil is the top holding. And we did have a recent 6103 print on Exxon. So bull above that at 6106, bear below 5950. There is nice movement to go down right here to this next moving average, the 15 EMA. NMU. Also, look at that. Beautiful skies ahead. This kind of looks like an accumulation pattern. And this is the creek, right? See this? Seller's exhaustion, hammer, hammer, right? This is a bearish engulfing, but still, we never went below that. And we are starting to lift up. If we can, close above 90 today that would be above the creek and that would be a great trade you guys for a swing but today 90.50 is a key level and bear below 89 for mu 
Uh, come join me tomorrow. I will be teaching how to map these whispers out and trade them in our training pit. So come join me tomorrow. And yeah, until next time, happy trading, everybody. Nothing in, that's my secret.